And we begin with this. For the first time, Narcan was used to save someone from an overdose inside the Henderson County Jail. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marangeli Lopez. And I'm Brennan Gurley. Our Jesus Martinez was able to speak to the sheriff there and why he thinks fentanyl is a growing concern in Texas. It looks like, you know, extreme drowsiness, uh, slurred speech, uh, just basically looked like that he was incoherent. That's how Henderson County Sheriff Bodie Hillhouse describes the state of a man his deputies arrested. The man was taken into the Henderson County Jail for aggravated assault and for possession of fentanyl. Seemed to be highly intoxicated on fentanyl. That's when deputies in the jail had to use the Narcan for the first time to treat the suspect's fentanyl overdose. So once we saw those signs along with the drugs that we had already seized, we knew that we probably should uh, deploy the Narcan. So we did get it in his nasals. Uh, it reversed the effects. He came around. A life-saving reversal effect on a life-threatening drug. The sheriff's office has had Narcan on hand for a few years now, donated by the Hope Project, who also provided deputies training. Recently, TDM also uh, provided us with some Narcan. In another case, the sheriff adds they found a significant amount of fentanyl in April at the home where a woman was shot and killed. I found more fentanyl there, so yes, it's, uh, it's definitely here. It's prevalent. Uh, it's very, very dangerous. Within the last three weeks, the sheriff's office says they've had three incidents where fentanyl was taken off the streets. And to crack down on the drugs, Sheriff Hillhouse says they're working with other agencies. You know, we're working uh, as diligently as we can. Any information we get, we follow up on that to try to get this substance off the street. In Henderson County, Jesus Martinez, CBS 19.